you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I got a pretty cool video for you guys. I got to thank Twitter. A Twitter guy, he hooked me up with this method. Um, I did not realize it prior because I've kind of been a little slow this week on checking out the objective list, but this guy did help me out to find five. I wouldn't call it, there's secret packs in the sense that this method that I'm gonna give you guys, a lot of you guys probably didn't think to do it. I gotta give a shout out to my guy. Let's find his Twitter name right now. Let's see, let's see. His name is Faisal Muhammad. I'm, I hope I didn't botch your name, man. I hope you watched this video. There's a shout out over on Twitter. Go give him a follow. Go check out his Twitter page. Awesome guy. Help me out. I think you also DM Xerxes this, so he probably has it too. But I'm going to be going over this in this video for you guys. You get free Legend Fantasy Packs. And if you do this properly, you can get up to five free. And if you guys know anything about Legend Fantasy Packs, let's say, I say at worst. At worst, they guarantee you like 30k. At worst. So if you get all five, you get about 150k. Now, if you get a full Legend pool, you get something crazy. You get upwards to like 500 million coins, 500,000 million coins. It all depends on what you, how you do this. But if you do it properly, I'll go over the methods on how to trade them over and how to get this all done. So stay tuned later in the video so I can go over everything. You're not going to want to miss anything because if you do this wrong, it could potentially botch on you. So I'll explain everything later on. So guys, before we get into this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys, for this method. For Muhammad, hook the boy up. Go over to his Twitter. Drop a like. Let's get this video to 200 likes, boys. Comment down below what you guys got out of your Legend Fantasy Packs. I'll be doing this pretty soon on my accounts too. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, boys. For news, daily content, videos, gameplays, all and all the other good stuff, especially with Series 2 coming out, turn to that noti bell also. Now let's get into this video. So, this is found under missions. If you guys haven't been doing this, and if you guys don't already know, Legend Fantasy Packs are pretty expensive. I don't know what the going rate on them is. I don't know if they're 50k or 75k, but in theory, you're getting about 350k, depending on how much they go for worth of packs. If they go for 50k, you're getting 250k worth of packs. If they go for 75,000, you're getting like 350k worth of packs. So definitely worth it considering i know a lot of you guys are no money spent guys like me like i really besides the first week's pack openings i really don't like buying packs so i love this i never really get a chance to open many packs so this is pretty awesome so you're gonna want to come over to mutt dedication and go over to weekly mission so a weekly mission guarantees you a pack every week now this week's weekly mission gives you complete five weekly activities to earn a legends fantasy pack legend fantasy packs are really good packs for free at least like uh, the gridirons are okay and everything but a legend fantasy pack is an expensive pack the going rate for them i don't know if they're like 10 15 dollars so like you're getting like 75 dollars potentially worth of packs a bundle of five is like 50 dollars so you're getting like 50 dollars worth of packs which is not bad at all especially if you bought them individually even more so if you look at this the objective genes complete five of them so this pass for 1200 yards 100 solo tackles play your first weekend league play a playoff game in headset seasons win 20 games 50,000 battle score, purchase five packs from the store. So the first one I'd go ahead and do is purchase five packs from the store. Go over to the store. There will be a get a player pack for 500 coins. So this will cost you about 2,500 coins to do this. Then the next one I'd probably want to do is pass 1,200 yards, 100 solo tackles, play your first weekend league, and either 50,000 battle score or win to uh, 20 games. So the way I do this is the packs first. Now you could go battle score. Battle score would just require you to play two solo battle games, which would take you no longer than like 35 minutes. If you chew clock and you win the game now the other one is play your first weekend league game that's easy this week is open to all so you don't have to qualify for it so go over to weekend league literally enter a game go play it come back i don't know if you can just quit it if you're not going to play weekend league i would tempt it i would just go into a weekend league game and then quit if, you're, if you don't plan on playing you don't care about your record go into it quit quit once the game like after like a few plays quit the game see if that counts for it if not just play it a thousand two hundred yards is simple go into that baker mayfield um solo challenge in the the mutt epic solos and literally just pass the ball for 99 yard touchdowns like 10 times it should take you no longer than an hour maybe or less to get this all done play your first weekly game you probably already have a lot of this done considering most of you guys play mutt um then i would either go for i would go for five packs weekend league 1200 yards 100 solo tackles you'll probably get just by playing these and then you could either do win 20 games or battle score so for the 20 games today's gauntlet right series two just came out gauntlet came out so the 20 games shouldn't be too hard. That's literally 20 solo challenges. Trust me, if you guys do these all in unison properly, you can get this all done within like an hour and a half. So now the way you're gonna get five of them, you need farm accounts. So if you guys know what a farm account is, you pretty much come over to here to the top left corner. You go over to the and switch accounts. Now to make a farm account, it's pretty easy. You literally just do create new. You probably already have some, or you have other accounts from like your family members on your Xbox. You can just hop onto theirs. 
or if not you just go you could create new make a fake email real quick takes you like five minutes come back on to madden and go get these done real quick trust me you're not going to miss out on this it's five free legend fantasy packs even if it takes you like six hours to do even if that's the max that's free that's like a free 70 dollars for six hours i really don't see that as that bad i'd highly recommend doing it so like i said the ones i wouldn't recommend doing from here are play a playoff game because that's going to be too hard if you're not in your playoffs i wouldn't i just wouldn't recommend that one every other one's going to be easy trust me pass for 1200 yards you probably already have done 100 solo tackles you probably already have done it's really not that hard to get solo tackles playing solo battles let's see 1200 yards one packs one play at weekend league so the other two are what matter right i'd recommend like i said solo tackles win 20 games 50,000 battle score so you're gonna need two more so i'd recommend probably playing two or three solo battle games since it is double solo battles this week anyway so you guys probably already are doing that i'd recommend you go play the solo battles and while you're getting that done you should get two of these done the solo tackles done and if you i would recommend the solo battles in my opinion you'll get the you get the tackles done you'll get passing yards you'll get the battle score and then you already have the packs and weekly game done that'll be one free pack and then the rest all you have to do pretty much is just go on over to the other accounts and do the same thing multiple times that'll get you a they'll net you five total fantasy packs like i said worst game you get about 150k best game you can get upwards to like a million coins if you pull two for two legends like a lawrence taylor and a steve young it really could go a lot of good ways for you guys so i highly recommend you go hop on that i don't know if they'll be doing this every week with legend fantasy packs this could be the one week where we get them they might go back to gridiron next week so i definitely go take advantage of that especially with series two dropping today gauntlet new cards you probably want the coins mutt 10 does drop today so you could save your legend fantasy packs for the mutt 10 player drop today and then open all five of them for that player and see if you could potentially get a limited time pull also signature series are in packs so i think today would be the day to open them i'd wait till about 4 p.m eastern time when they do drop the mutt 10 players maybe 4 10 to make sure they're in game and then go pop the packs now to get them over from your farm account this is important so a lot of people have concerns with trading things over because obviously madden monitors that so what you could do since they are legend pieces you could just let's say you pull 100k out of a legend fantasy pack total 100k you sell it off you could buy legend set pieces and trade them over to your main account so i'll explain how that works in a second but the way you could get your return back is like this so let's say you get well i'll go to the sets and i'll explain it all in a second so you go over to sets right this is the easiest way to do it with no risk you come over to let's say let's give you a good guy that's getting kind of cheap so let's say like willie brown or let's go all the way down actually who's really cheap like michael strahan so let's say michael strahan his set pieces all together probably cost like 140k so if let's say on the other account you have like 100k i would recommend buying the top strahan piece all the way over here the two top ones and you could trade them over to your main account and when you come over to your main account you all you have to do is buy the other three so let's say you buy the other three they cost you like 50k for like let's say 40k for these three pieces all together like 50k you put 50k in and then you sell the stray hand and then when you sell the strand for 160k you make back about 110k so that is your gain if you, know this, if you guys understand how that works that is the best way to always trade over things let's say you only get 30k out of the pack then what you could do is you just put up a bronze player or whatever or you put up something or gold player and you just go buy for 30k that's a low amount of coins don't really make a difference now let's say you pull a full legend piece you can either trade it over to your main account and you can keep it or you could like i said you sell let's say you get steve young for 400k you could just sell the Steve Young for 400k or 350k with the remaining amount of money you have like 320k you can just come over here you can go buy all the Steve Young pieces again come over trade them all over to your main account put them all into here and then when you get the auctionable Steve Young on your main account you can then take that and you could sell that for the coins you might lose like 30 40k reduction but it's definitely more worth it than potentially getting an auction block suspension but that is the easiest way if you, I hope you guys understand that Pretty much you just take legend pieces when you trade them over they will be non-auctionable but then you put them into the collection because you can still use them for collections and then you get the full player that will be auctionable on your main account and you can obviously go sell them now other than that if you guys pull full legends like i said just sell them on your main or if you have a farm that you'd like to use like a no money spend farm or something you can just keep it on there it all really is up to you guys i hope this did help you guys i hope you guys get some use out of this again shout out to faisal muhammad i hope i'm not botching your name my guy but again go over to his twitter put the man up with the follow awesome hitting me up he said give this out to the community so that's exactly what i did i hope this helps you guys i will be getting mine done now before series two comes out because obviously guys i'm making like 13 videos today i'm not going to post them all today but i got to make at least like 13 for today and tomorrow so gotta get as many up as i can so i won't be having too much time so i gotta get this done now before 10 30 i have like another hour and a half see how much i can get done but guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have been enjoying all the content if you have especially on this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys trying to help you guys out to get this video to 200 likes 
Make sure to hit the subscribe button to get news just like this. Turn on that noti bell. Obviously, news like this, time sensitive, definitely helps. Turn on that noti bell. Get notified when I post a brand new video. And comment down below what you guys get out of those fantasy packs. I'm kind of curious to see how much, how like how your luck goes and who gets the banger pulls. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun grinding series two. I hope you guys have a good series two first day. Hopefully, Madden gets going again. Thank you guys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.